Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos, and welcome back to another episode of the uh, How to Start How a City Starts series uh, in City Skylines. Um, we're on the live stream, and uh, and we will get going with the, this city. So what we started in the previous series is we basically started with a little bit of a farm over here, an industry which around a city could develop. That then was followed by a main road that started expanding and so they were started moving people started moving in. And now you see an interesting thing over here. We've got no demand for residential, um, but we've got tons of demand for commercial and for um, for industry. And so this is also kind of typically Sam. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Um, this is also typically how it actually happens. So now that uh, initially this town just kind of started to create an envi a place for people to stay who actually works at the farm, but then at some point it just grows because of other reasons and other functions that it that it fulfills, and so then it starts requiring other things. So now there's a need for other kind of um, work for people to go and do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zone a little bit of standard industrial alongside this. I've added this road clock drive over here. Um, and what we'll do, what we typically see is that somewhere on the outskirts of a city, there's a little road that somewhere springs up and requires a little bit of or, or brings in a little bit of industrial um, uses into into the city or the town at this stage only. Okay, so we'll We'll do a few industrial bits and blocks like that. Again, nothing, none of this would be super high density. It will still just be um, stretched out. Drunk Pilot, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Glad to see everybody is, uh, is making it. Okay, so that's the one thing that I'm going to do. Uh, as you can see in between um, the episodes, I've also created... Ooh, there's a bit of a fire going on over here. Sure, our guys will be there soon. I've also created um, some districts, uh, and these are just kind of names for the suburbs. Nelson Valley, Mason Parade, and Albion. Um, Nelson Valley is a kind of a shout out to a, a frequent YouTube commenter who's asked for that. So there we go. Um, now, oh, I still need to put connect some water over here. So let's make sure that that is connected. We'll bring it down there. And then all the way along there and we'll connect it up over there so that should should do the trick so now there's a little bit more um industrial use over here um okay the next thing is uh the the area would find places like okay this would be a good spot for another industry so i think we're going to expand create another um industrial area over here oh i see we've got some oil up here hmm I'd rather we do a bit of oil somewhere else. I'd rather we do with it. We do a little bit more. Uh, this is, looks a little funny. Anyway, I'd rather we do uh, this side here. Use that for for uh, forestry industry. Oriental industrial industry has no specialization yet. Okay, so what we'll do is we will expand our our city into that direction and maybe let's start off with a bit of an industrial road out there a small industry road we'll start it off right over there okay like that and then we'll kind of just we'll slowly move it out a little bit so that it goes it does a little something like this right and that's going to have robin street but i'd rather call it something like oriental avenue Okay, and and this is where we're going to start ourselves. A, um, we're going to start with uh, with the forestry industry over here. So we'll we'll start this side right over here, and this will be a logging area site. Sam, I'm going on a trip very soon, and I'm super excited. Well, Sam, I'm I'm, I'm happy that you are excited. Where are you going? Uh, okay, so now we need to start providing a little bit more stuff on Oriental Avenue. So like this. Pilot Avenue. Maybe, uh, maybe for a... Yeah, we can. We can. We can call it Pilot Avenue. Okay, let's do that. But then we're going to call this the Pilot... Pilot Logging Area Site 2. Pilot logging area site and pilot avenue 
we can build an airport on it later. <laughs> I'm going to Scotland. Wow. That's awesome. I've never been to Scotland. Uh, I've been to Ireland, though, but I haven't been to Scotland. Um, and so, yeah, the, you should enjoy that trip. There's a lot, lot to see in Scotland, I hear. Okay, let's uh, let's continue the expansion of our of our logging camp over here. So let's do a few of these right on on the road here. Okay, and then we'll grab um, this and we'll kind of start to meander a little road up up the hillside here. And we'll get onto the top of the hill there. So there's a little bit of a meandering road there. Okay, so now we can... What I want to do is let's quickly grab a few more trees. What kind of trees can we... And I don't have the tree brush mod, right? So if I just kind of fill in a few more trees here, I wonder whether that would do anything. Uh, whether that makes this area a little bit more attractive for for this industry but anyway let's uh let's see about grabbing a couple more the slopes here aren't really working too well for the big ones so if we do a little something like that oh yeah that's gonna that's gonna be pretty good so there's some a bit of a logging camp going on there now you just need to give water up there okay so there we go uh, so this industry, why is there, is there just generally not enough electricity or are we, yeah, there's just generally not enough electricity. So it's time for us to, um, to switch on another over here. Wow. Let's switch on another one of these guys. Okay. I'm going to speed things up a little bit so that we can see what our demand and things are doing. Okay, you've got a friend that's going to Dubai at the same time you're going to Scotland. Uh, Dubai is nice. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Dubai is nice, but it's not. The, it's not quite the same. There's a. It's very flashy compared to other places that's got a lot more historical value. So it all kind of depends on what kind of holiday you like. Um, how's our? Yeah, how is our garbage collection going? This site is getting pretty full. So at some point we might have to start looking at incineration. Okay, now let's uh, let's continue our expansion of the Albion district over here to to meet the demands of 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 these people or, or the um, the worker demands, shall we say? Okay, so Albion district is just kind of a little bit of a. A very uh, oh no, that's not actually the road I wanted to use there. Let's uh, let's go and grab that. It's a very grid-like um, little suburb. Okay, let's uh, throw that in there. We'll uh, expand that little section through there. Okay, good stuff. Let's see. We also gonna need some water over here. Okay, we will connect the water up like so. Excellent. So the people moving in here can have some stuff going on. Uh, then we can also see a bit of expansion of our of our uh, commercial areas over here. Something like that. A few a few little bits and pieces can open up over here as well. Um, we will see the expansion of the main road. I'll go I'll push that back a little bit over there so we'll do a little something like that and some more guys over here so we'll see a continuous expansion of that okay now we've got an extra industrial area so now we uh, will probably also start getting the demand for a bit of a high school so let's do that let's grab ourselves a high school I don't think we've got I've got a community school over here which is an elementary school then an Institute of Creative Arts which I don't think squeezes or fits in well with what we're doing here i'd rather just do the high school next to the park over here it's a little yeah i think it's fine over there it's a little isolated in terms of traffic and so on but i think it's fine up against the hill there nice so now we've got a high school as well we just need to keep an eye on on this but i think our money is doing well this area 
yeah, it's starting to create a little bit of money for us, but we're not doing anything apart from logging over here. So they've kind of found a bit of a situation where we can do some logging. I'm kind of wondering whether I need to connect these two roads up a little bit. Uh, maybe we won't. We won't do that right now. But we could do some further residential expansion along this side of the hill over here. As you can see, there's a variety of, of roads that people are using to cut through the city over here. Um, and they are making use of the, the national highway going out this way. Okay, now our demands are similar for everything. So I'm going to expand our, our road over here a little. Actually, if we do it a little bit like that, and then we'll twist it in, inland away from the highway. Nice, something like that. Okay, and we'll just kind of run it straight up like that. Then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to grab this one and we're going to connect things up. So this is kind of going to be a little bit of a uh, industrial corridor um, that's going to run in this area. So we'll continue to provide um, a few a few little spots where people can open up their industrial businesses like that I'm not sure can we do a little little small smaller ones over here maybe something like that maybe okay now let's make sure they have water as well okay so there's a little bit more industrial that's going on over there um, and at some point these roads would have to upgrade as well as they get busier and busier Excellent. So now we've got a pretty flat demand for everything. So we can continue to expand our various areas. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, let's upgrade this road here. Okay. Let's ex expand that. And what we can also do is we can add another little little road through here something that uh, let's bring it in a little more like that Perf something like that maybe yeah that's okay a little bit more of a residential look and feel and we'll start to um, open up all of these areas for further residential expansion oops take that out like so and like so Okay, excellent. So there's further expansion going on. Of course, to just continue to meet the various demands. We'll link things up over there. And all of that. Good stuff. Going to need to continue the expansion of the industrial area as well. And uh, also continue the creation of more stuff for this uh, logging camp over here. So let's see, what else can we do here? Forestry maintenance building. Cost us a little bit of money instead. So let's uh, let's actually introduce a sawmill. Uh, and we'll kind of do it over here somewhere. It's gonna be gonna be pretty close to the residential areas, but I think it's okay over there. So a bit of a sawmill there, and then we'll do some storage facilities. And we're out of power yet again. Uh, just a small log storage. Yes, that's going to be brilliant uh, on that road over there. Something like that. Perfect. That squeezes in nicely. Okay, we'll switch on yet another over here to continue our... To get our power back up. Nice. Okay, so I think what, what we're going to do now is we're going to do our very first uh, proper industrial not industrial, we've been doing proper industrial pieces all along. Uh, we'll do our first commercial area. So now the developers of the town actually realize, well, if we go across the river, there is definitely the potential for us to do a nice commercial hub on the other side of the river. And so the uh, expansion to the other side of the river is being planned. So let's, uh, let's see, what can we do? We'll probably run a little something through here as a small road that can tie up to the other side a 
Okay. Again, not quite the road that I was looking for. Let's just keep keeps selecting the wrong one. That's all the same. So there we go. Now there's a little bit of a bridge across to the other side. Okay, and what we'll do is we will do the downgrade of this road over here to create, to take this national highway over here and, and, and allow an area for a bit of a commercial development. So what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, expand a commercial development along the river over here in this little cove here. No, that's not a cove, it's something, something else. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see if we... We do a little something like that. Now let's just do them as straight sections as best we can. Straight section like that, straight section like this over there. And we'll run that down into there. And I'm kind of doing a little Something like this. Let's uh, let's continue this one, straighten this one up a little, and then we'll turn that in here. Excellent. So there's kind of the starting point. We will create an extra bit of a block here as well, so we can fill this up a little bit more efficiently. So this is going to be a bit of a commercial center for us over here. So let's uh, let's do that. And it's almost about the time where you start to see. Um, the rise of some higher density stuff, but it's quite not quite there yet. We're only at 3000. So let's just continue the low density, but it's it's denser in the sense that the entire area is set out and we will start our area growth over there. <clears throat> at the same time, we are going to need water. Maybe this side, uh, well, we'll have to link it up on that side too. Um, so as part of the bridge construction, we br brought a uh, a bit of a pipe across as well go around there we'll tie in here something like that so now there's some commercial going on on the other side of the river with a bridge connection through there excellent and so the city grows um, so once the city kind of reaches, so, so what will happen is we'll continue to fill out this area. So let's make sure we do that. Um, I want to make this a nice big commercial area. So we'll do at least all of that. Actually, let's just do, let's just do all of it. Something like that. A nice commercial cluster over here. And what we can also do is we can grab now a bit of a road to run run along here also. At some point we'll have to have another bridge that crosses the river over here, but we'll need to expand a little bit more before we get to that point. We want a few connections off of the highway, but not everywhere. So we'll do a little something like this. And now I'm going to do... Um, a smaller uh, a smaller road so we'll bring an, uh, actually let's do something like that and like that and then we'll have a bit of a residential component in here as well it's a bit of a demand for residential in this area so Anna Street over here will have a bit of a residential component that side over there as well excellent There's still some room for further commercial development, uh, but we need water and workers and all kinds of things. So let's just bring the water along. Okay. The town is continuing to develop. Uh, the other thing we could do is I'm going to take this small road. I'm going to take it out from there and then I'm going to run it along along the river like this and we will tie that in and that in like so and we'll continue um, a bit of uh, residential development along the riverfront here. And we'll also have 
uh, some development to the back. Okay. I think that's about right. We'll do that. We're going to need some water in there, I'm sure. Good stuff. We can also do the other side here. Bobrecht. Um, hello from Turkey. Love your videos. Amazing series and it's amazing to see you play cities. Well, so, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoy it. Um, I absolutely love this game. It's been one of my favorites ever since they've, uh, since they've launched it. So I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of cities. I'm glad you like it. And I'm glad you made it to the stream. Okay, so there's a, a residential expansion on the river there and we can continue our residential expansion. So what we'll do is we will make sure that we expand the other side of this as well. Something like that, maybe. Is there room for a bit of expansion on this side? Yeah, absolutely. Let's uh, upgrade this, this road over here. Okay, and then once the city start of, so starts running out of space for expansion, it starts. They start to talk about uh, densification. Then that starts happening. Okay, so a little something like this. We'll do that there. Excellent. I think that'll work. We'll fill in a little bit of that as well. Okay, so there's some more residential expansion over there. It's part of Nelson Valley. Okay, so we need a name for this new area over here. Any 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 thoughts? It's not going to be an industrial one. So this side of the river here. Any thoughts on what uh, what this area should be called? Please put it in the in the chat. It's Anchor Park at the moment, but we'll we can call it something else. Um, I'm going to fill in a little bit more commercial over here and I'm also thinking commercial down down this stretch here is probably a good idea Nice, okay, so continued um, Development of residential areas is required. So that is what we'll do. So I think we're going to grab this road. We're going to extend that out a little bit more. So that's something like this. Okay. We will tie that smaller road back in at some point. Let's do that now. Okay. And let's do a little something like this. And we'll do that. I think it's a, well, maybe that's a little too extreme. Riverside Valley, Lake View, River View. Hmm. River View. Lake View. I don't think Lake View is the one. It's not a lake. Um, let's do River View. I do, I do like that. So let's do River View for this. River View. Excellent. Welcome to the suburb of River View. I want to do a little a little straight section like that and then tie those two together to ooh that is not is not at all what I had in mind <laughs> look at that that's just crazy now get get rid of Blackwell Street's uh, funny turns over there we will just do something like this instead Okay, and then we'll continue our expansion of this area. Okay, something like this, something like that. Also something like this over here. Let's check our water. How is our water doing? We still have water availability, so that's good. And what we'll also do is we'll grab this and we'll extend it to this side. Okay, something like that, so that we can do another little suburb section over here. So we'll start it off like this. Actually, we can just do both sides of that. 
but it's probably about time for our very first proper city park but i think maybe a little early still we'll do a little bit more um, commercial on here just off the main road a little bit of commercial spots here and we also anyway could could do a little bit of a walkway through there i think that's what we're going to do so we'll grab ourselves a little walkway and it's still going to be pretty cheap stuff here i don't have anarchy connected so uh, i just have to kind of do as best i can over here so yeah that'll be connecting those up there i also don't think i can do a pedestrian a pedestrian walkway okay so now there's uh, this area is expanding i'm going to do the other side of this as well just people um that's going to and i'm hoping when when we downgrade this section of oh no this is oriental drive my goodness so this is mason parade on this side and oriental drive and i've just called this area mason parade to kind of tie in with that okay how are we going four thousand people we're growing too slowly i need to expand these areas a little bit more so let's uh, let's do that let's grab that road we'll do a little something like that and we'll grab this road and maybe what we'll do is oh actually we'll we'll turn as we get to the ah so as we get to the rail We'll, we'll have that and I've got a, got a perfect name for that road so we will we'll tie in with it uh, is that a bit too much Ashley Chapman Street wow it's got a got an interesting name uh, I, 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 I sometimes I um, I kind of am amazed at the the name generator that it gets that, that they use I wonder where they get all their names from okay and so what we'll do is we'll tie this guy in um over here somewhere so if we do that that's a good tie in right over there um this is not going to be ashley chapman street this is going to be i'm going to call this railway parade this is a very i don't know i've seen this in in many australian cities they call these roads a railway ooh, not a railway a railway parade and because we now have access well since we now have access to the rail it may be a, a, a time for us to start looking at linking up to the rail so let's have a look um the rail itself train we could do uh, i'm definitely thinking probably need to push back railway parade a little bit but we also can yeah actually we should push that back a little I brought that a little too close okay so let's see if we say try that again I want to do it a little something like that so oof, I can never know how far I have to do these but I think it's a little something like this almost so let's do let's try that try that one more time oh it's still a bit of an issue but what i'll do is i'm actually gonna just realign that a little bit so let's do that let's i don't want to go out there so let's uh let's switch in oops that's the wrong button let's uh let's do this okay then i'm gonna grab the rails we're gonna run it straight through here like so and like so and then we will oh man and I, I i've got movement i've got move it my thank goodness because this is the kind of stuff that will just kill me okay so if we grab move it yes thank you and we gonna just straighten that out, out off a little bit excellent why click to close the box yes Okay, so a little, a little something like that. Now we've got um, the railway. Um, I just want to link these up again. 
So any city with, uh, well, any uh, industrial or commercial things will uh, really like to have a railway. And as you can see, this will now start to bring a connection of all of this stuff in here. Oh, our landfill is full. So uh, let's pause it for a second. We probably are going to need to expand that. So let's grab this and we'll add our next landfill site. Do that straight. Let's run that down there. I'm not going to connect onto the main road there. Let's see if we can grab a little bit of a landfill site and we can squeeze another one in there. So there's another landfill site now available. It's not a, not a very good spot to get into the city here. Okay, let's, uh, we need some power over here. So at the moment, I'm going to uh, run some power lines. Like that. So power lines running that way. And we will do the water over here as well. Nice. Now we've got room for some further expansion. Uh, I'm just going to do the downgrade of a section of road over here a little bit. I want people to slow down before they reach the intersection. And similarly over here. Ah. Don't necessarily want to just lose that. Okay. So now we've got problems with garbage collection. Which I think it will start popping up again. And we've got power problems. So let's uh, switch on another couple of wind turbines. Let's just switch all of them on. Yeah, garbage. I'm hoping garbage collection will be sorted out. Yeah, it looks like it's sorted, being sorted out. Okay, now let's continue our expansion here. I'm going to make this a four-way intersection. But we're mainly going to... Mainly going to run it like that. We'll... Maybe we shouldn't make that a four-way, but what we could do is we could run... Um, the road through there a little bit. Okay, so now we've got some areas here and I'm going to go back to the smaller roads on the insides. So we'll just do a little something like this and maybe like that as a as a bit of a, a bit of an area there. Similarly, actually maybe we should stop using the smaller roads. As, as towns get bigger, they start using bigger and bigger roads because they start to realize that traffic is becoming a problem. So you can see that. So let's do that. Let's go and create our very first signalized intersection because traffic along Mason Parade is becoming an issue. Similarly on this side as well. So I will provide a traffic light over there and a traffic light over here. So our first traffic lights in the town. And that's basically to make use of the bridge and just to make sure that it is a little safer. I'm also going to, I'm also tempted to do a bit of a traffic light over here. Uh, let's do an upgrade because that's how you do it. So make sure people don't speed through the town. So there is a bit of a traffic light at the start as well. These could still function as stop, stop signs and so on. But as you get through the town, you need uh, maybe some traffic lights to slow people down a little bit. Good stuff. Okay, we need to further expand. So there's a further demand for commercial. So we'll continue our commercial area expansion over here. Okay, and even we'll stretch it a little bit over here as well. Yeah, we'll just make this entire block something like that. Excellent, and we will continue to grow our our residential as well. Let's not do that. Let's not do this one just yet. So we'll just start off with that section. Funny shapes. Anyway, we'll start off over there. Let's just make sure they have water. So we'll link the water um, through there. Link that up. Excellent. Excellent. We are growing nicely. It's about time that on this section, we also will now need um, fire protection. So as you can see, fire protection is a bit of a thing. And we are again having issues with this. So I think what's going to happen is we're going to put another um, waste facility somewhere over here. 
uh, in this industrial zone where we can so there's another one so that they can kind of pick up waste on this side of of town as well as you can see we're not properly meeting the needs of the town now our signal is working pretty well but this area is pretty busy and people are crossing the road uh, are crossing the river over here as well so it might be a case of looking at finding a little spot for us to put, provide a bit of a a bit of a bridge for uh, for pedestrians so let's um let us do that we'll do something over there we'll link it up over here so we're going to lose that section uh, okay we'll do that and we will we're gonna lose oh no not what i wanted i don't know why that actually happened anyway oh, can i no, no, no. I want to tie into this. Yes, that's what I want to do. Like so. And then I want to drop it down. Somewhere like that. Okay. So now there is... A, ooh, that's high, guys. Okay, I'm going to just uh, drop that down a little bit. That's not... We don't need people to be walking as high as that. Excellent. That looks, that looks pretty good. So now people can walk between the two. And they can drive between the two. Okay, so this is going to start making this area nice and busy. We've also got the rail here. Um, so you can see that quite busy stuff is starting to happen over here. Um, our industry should be booming. Look at all of that stuff. Let, let's see what we're doing over here. So we're doing plain timber. We're not making that much money over here. How many workers? Oh, we've full on on workers. So we need a little bit more, more stuff here. So let's expand this area a tiny bit with... Um, with some more some more of these basically can we slot in it's not actually wanting to go in there so we'll do a couple of new new planting areas over there so it looks nice okay now the town is probably starting to recognize well let's do some more commercial we can do tons more commercial on the main road here um, so let's do it like that start feeding that in over there nice and we'll do commercial on the other side too because that's just what happens with these main streets in small towns they are primarily commercial and we'll run down here as well ah but we think we need to provide some additional facilities so we'll provide a new kind of cemetery over here for these people we will also provide some hospital facilities right here and we will provide a new fire station uh, maybe down here so it's a little closer to uh, actually, let's do that. So a bit of a fire station over here. Uh, actually, our fire stations are very close together now. Maybe what we should do is we should move the fire station to the main road over here somewhere. Because once we do another bridge on this side, this might be a good spot for it. So let's do that fire station over there. Sorry about that, guys. And then with all of this commercial, we are going to need a bit of police. So the police is pretty close on this side, too. So I don't think we necessarily need a new police station just yet. Look how busy that is. So this is where you can see the problems with... Um, the problems with, uh, with traffic start to happen on these little towns as they grow. As they grow and alongside this um this area this is a railway parade guys why are you not can we toggle traffic routes adjust the road ah you know what i'm gonna adjust this road and we're gonna bring you in there ah there we go wow that's cool railway parade railway parade nice railway parade all the way through here so you can see we've got a pretty nice concentric little ring here that can start to become a little bit more important so what we'll do is let's extend our railway parade section okay and we'll turn it in a 
like that. Um, so let's just okay. So let's uh, turn it like so, and then we'll turn it like that. So that will be the extension of railway parade. So let's just make sure that we. Um, extend that road so railway parade goes all the way till there so there we go railway parade let's uh, downgrade this road a little bit more so this is basically how it happens you just downgrade it's just expansion all along a single road what is, is this that was a funny street name okay we'll tie that in there and we can start bringing off new sections oops 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 that's not what I wanted to do I want to do actual proper kind of blocks in there so a little something like this actually a little something like that could do well uh, something like so and we'll tie that together so there we go and we could do a similar thing on this side actually but this side I'm almost tempted to make this side a bit more industrial so as you get access to the railway, you also look into providing maybe a little bit something more industrial here. So let's just do a little pathway over here. Something like that. So that connects up there and then we'll do a little bit more industrial in this in this spot here. Okay, so let's run a little bit something like that and a little something like this over here. So there's some industrial use um, that's going to pop up right here. We'll do a small sliver over here so that there's a bit of a buffer between that because we're going to put residential on the other side. Uh, maybe a little commercial buffer here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a bit of a commercial buffer in here instead. And then on the other side, we will rush out some more residential for the continuous growth of the city. nice okay and this area here will be more commercial but we probably need to look at some things like schools and stuff on this side also let's give some water over here we will continue uh, the railway parade piping system that'll tie in over here and that'll link up to this side we will link those two together so now nice piping systems over here so the town is really starting to grow we've got a nice big traffic problem over here to start to deal with at some point and we're out of power again so now the town will have to start looking at what is going to be our next big power supply i don't think this river is going to be big enough to provide us with hydroelectric we can have a bit of a look but i don't doubt it Oh, 16 megawatts, but 16 megawatts is by no means what we're something we can we can deal with. That's just not going to do it for us. Uh, maybe what we'll do is this new industrial area over here will also be the site of a new um, oil power plant. Yeah, let's do that. We'll build a brand new oil power plant over here. So oil will be be no problems for us so let's uh let's oops let's not do that let's start switching these off again so we can save a little bit of money uh, and to be honest the oil power plant could potentially be providing enough power for us in total so we'll switch off the coal power plant as well we've bought it so we won't we won't demolish it but we can switch it off so we don't have to spend spend the money on it all the time why don't you have water is there like one little slot here that doesn't have water so there's a little water project right over there okay and over here similar thing oh no no we're running out of water that's what's happening okay so it's about time for us to start looking into providing proper water facilities so i'm thinking where Provide a bit of a water facility right over there. It's going to draw water from the uh, from the river. Nice and clean spot there. Uh, we might have to, oof, almost empties it out. Huh? 
Anyway, that should provide us with sufficient uh, water for now. Is there a spot, another spot that didn't actually get water? Okay, let's continue the expansion of that. Excellent. Good stuff. Okay, now the town is getting nice and big. More than 5,000 people. And it's here where I think we're going to start looking into some expansions into um, slightly more high density developments. Let's quickly have a look at what's happening with our schooling before we do that. Um, so we need more elementary school and we've got, um, yeah, so we've also got our educated system. So yeah, definitely more elementary schools. So let's uh, grab an elementary school along uh, this side here. We'll plop it in there. So this side of the river has its own elementary school. Our budget is growing nicely, so that's looking pretty good. Um, these things are still low density, but they are starting to look a little bit more high density to me. Um, so now I'm kind of tempted that the areas up alongside this, um, this commercial district over here or somewhere over here could start to look at a little bit of high density. So if we say this, right, let's say this section here becomes a high density. Okay, let's pause that instead. Can you name schools? I believe you can. I'll have a look now. So we turn this area here into high density. So we're going to start seeing our very first high density um, residential areas on Mason Parade, the, the road where it all started. Okay, so that'll disappear and it'll be replaced by some new higher density um, residential areas. Let's quickly have a look. So a school, the school can in fact be named. What would this school's name be? It's in the, in the Riverview um, area. Give me some suggestions. Uh, we've got a sewage problem. Yet again, so let's have a look at what is happening with our water. Yes, so let's uh, add an extra one over here. I'm also tempted that we start looking into treatment instead. So what is this? This uh, drain capacity 60,000 and this one is 160,000. Okay, I'm tempted that we get rid of these two. Uh, what we'll do is we will get rid of this so that we can build a new treatment facility here. Oh no, look at that. Look at that. People are going to get sick. Okay, so we are looking at a water treatment, an eco water treatment plant. It's going to go in right here. It should cover all of our demands. But yeah, you can look at that. See our, our clean water here has become a problem. So people will get sick unless we sort that out switch you off please just so that that can uh, flow the other way before people get sick what we'll do in the meantime is we'll have another little tower over here um, another water tower maybe somewhere over here and we will link that in so that there is some water for these guys at least but yeah we need this to be flushed down the river now look at that the city is getting pretty big. What is the, um, this is not too bad over here. It's pretty busy, but it's not too bad. If we look at our traffic, um, they can see this section is actually quite busy. Road usage over here. So we should probably look at what we could do to expand. So maybe the railway parade connection on this side could tie in somewhere. So let's start looking at it. And now the town will start looking at something, a bridge that's... Um, I'm going to go now. Have a good day, everyone. Yeah, Sam, thank you for joining the stream. Have a good day yourself. Dream making public elementary. Okay. Dream maker, dream maker. Let's do that. So dream, dream maker. Ooh, one word, huh? dream maker. Public, can't type, public elementary, we'll take out that, there we go, there's our new school, okay, 
so now there's planning the city is expanding and there's planning for a new bridge so what are we going to do are we going to do a major investment of a boulevard type road i think we are um let's just do something like this uh, i want to do it nice and straight yeah that's a, a nice little Guys, okay, and it's set back a little bit so that um, so that when there's any kind of flooding or so on, the city is not, the, the bridge isn't, isn't a problem. So there's our very first bridge there. Uh, what we'll do is we will continue that as a, well, let's run that straight like this and straight like that. And then we'll turn that in. Actually, let's trim it back a little bit. Maybe not that much. So let's do something like that maybe. And now we will tie this together there. So that will be the continuation of Railway Parade. Um, and we need to understand where we're going to tie it in on that side. But what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and finish off this little road. Oof. Probably right like that. Morgan Street straight into there is probably about the right thing to do. Um, let's expand things a little bit over here. So I'll do up to there and up to there. We'll do all of these, all of those, and up to there. Okay, so that area now is good. Shall we connect it in here? Let's do that. Let's connect it over there. Okay, so I'm thinking straight line out of there like so and then uh, actually we need to use this one maybe something like that there we go and that will be not web app uh, so i want to do this as railway parade so i want to expand the railway parade over there so now the city has built its first big road on this side of the town Okay, let's uh, pick up Railway Parade and we'll extend that all the way to there. So that'll be Railway Parade. The start and end of Railway Parade. And then that can be Web, Web Street over there. As you can see now, we've got plenty of capacity to cross the river before you get to the city. Okay, we're heading into the last few minutes of the stream. Just a little bit more than five minutes left to go on the stream. So let's continue our meeting of the needs and expansion. So what are you guys complaining about? Not enough customers. So we need to expand our residential offering. And I think we've got a bit of high density that's popped up over here on Mason Parade. And let's have a look. Where can we do maybe a little bit more high density? What is this? Oh, that's uh, that's uh, that's the police station. Uh, we could, but that's maybe a little close by. Maybe, maybe what we'll do is mm, just feels a little funny. Let's do a little bit of high density over here. None of these areas look and feel like they should be proper high density areas just yet. Oh, and I can now get rid of these these power lines over here because we've done all connected. Uh, what I think we should do is actually provide a train station for passengers. So if we say train station for passengers, how exactly? I kind of want to make it um, almost like a terminal station. So if we do something like this, let's say that becomes our train station over there. Okay, and that's gonna, gonna be the end of it. But so what we'll do is we will link in. Um, okay, so let's see. I want to turn this like so. And 
and probably okay hang on let's do that and we'll do something like that so now we can actually have a railway connection for for passengers without hopefully without blocking up a lot of stuff here that's the idea so now we've got a passenger railway station and what are we saying it allows intercity trains yes absolutely so now we're also starting to have a look at maybe doing our very first public transport system so very basic bus type system is probably what we need um, let's just go with a straightforward bus depot I think that's going to be a good spot for the bus depot for us and we don't have I'm not going to build a major bus station like this it just doesn't feel quite right to me um, in a small town so I'd rather we just grab some small a little bit of a bus um, stop at the train station over here and it will run on the other side okay so our very first bus service uh, yeah we'll do a little stop just before we turn or maybe just after the turn there good then we're gonna come in here we will st stop alongside this road okay we'll stop over here somewhere we'll make a turn in here and then we'll finish that route over there okay so our very first bus route i'm going to go ahead and do uh, the other loop also this one will stop in front of the that one it'll go here somewhere there somewhere this one i will take um around the turn here maybe a little something like that stop over here stop over there and then it'll finish that route over there nice 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 so now can we have a look at these lines um, bus line one and bus line two what model are we using standard buses uh, oh I want to change the color so it's like the red line and we'll just make it slightly um, pinkish color just to represent the first loop so this is just going to be um, well, at the moment, we'll just call it line A and line one and, uh, hang on, line one and line one reverse, line one reverse. Okay. So there we go. Our very first public transport is operating. And now... I think we are can we switch this thing back on again or will people get sick again i'm not too sure anyway guys i think that is almost where we got we've got a couple more minutes left two more minutes we have done a lot um i think this area here could see a little bit of commercial expansion so on the railway parade over here Okay, a little bit like that, a bit of a corner shop over here. We will see a bit more residential expansion up to there. We do need to look into some parks and stuff, I think. Um, and what I'll do is I'll do a little bit of industrial um, expansion over here along this stretch of railway parade at the rail. A little something like that so there's a little bit more industrial that can come in here as well the new bridge is not seeing as much traffic as the old bridge still the shortest path and this bridge is not uh, not too good at some point it might be might have to be replaced okay so our town is growing quite nicely and it's concentrically growing um, around a little inner core and so on and so our our higher density is probably going to start springing up in this area so that area was a natural higher density there um, and we could actually start looking at let's do a little bit a very small little slither of high density commercial right over there 
to allow for a little bit of a better expansion over there we could also now start looking at some office stretches maybe this little road over here could could see a little bit of office so let's do that let's see if we can accommodate a little bit of office in that spot right there I think it could work I think it could work a little bit of office anyway guys that is where I'm gonna end the stream thank you so much for joining us um, if you haven't already please follow join the discord the link is right there in the description or in the in yeah in the description um, like the video if you haven't done so already and yeah subscribe also thank you very much bye bye